electromagnetic induction in solenoid. The diagram shows the electromagnetic induction in solenoid. When magnet is moved into the solenoid, the galvanometer needle is deflected momentarily, indicating that a current is induced in the solenoid. When magnet is moved out of the solenoid, the galvanometer needle is deflected momentarily but in the opposite direction, indicating that an induced current flows through the solenoid in the opposite direction. When a solenoid is moved towards a stationary magnet, the galvanometer needle is deflected momentarily, indicating that a current is induced in the solenoid. If solenoid is moved away from a stationary magnet from inside the solenoid, the galvanometer needle is deflected momentarily but in the opposite direction, indicating that an induced current flows through the solenoid in the opposite direction. If the magnet is stationary in the solenoid, galvanometer needle remains in the center zero position, indicating that no current is produced. The observation of the experiment shows that current is induced in a solenoid when there is relative motion between the solenoid and the magnet. The direction of the induced current in a solenoid can be worked out using Lenz's law. According to Lenz's law, the direction of the induced current in a solenoid is such that its magnetic effect always opposes the change producing it. The diagram shows the north pole of a bar magnet approaching a solenoid. According to Lenz's law, the current which is thereby generated in the coil must cause an effect which opposes the approaching magnetic field. This is achieved if the direction of the induced current creates a north pole at the end of the solenoid closest to the approaching magnet, as the induced north pole tends to repel the approaching north pole. The above diagram shows the north pole of a bar magnet withdrawing from a solenoid. According to Lenz's law, the current which is thereby generated in the coil must cause an effect which opposes the departing magnetic field. This is achieved if the direction of the induced current creates a south pole at the end of the solenoid closest to the departing magnet, as the induced south pole tends to attract the departing north pole. Thank you for taking time to watch this.